All right, I'm just thinking out loud here. I'm setting up for my new interview setup thing. Setting up for my interview setup. That was well put. But I want to try doing stuff more over video. I'm recording it for the audio of the podcast that I can edit later. But I also want to do live interviews if people are interested, unless they don't want to do it that way. I think, when did the podcast stop? This podcast stopped in March was the last episode, I think. I don't remember. And I'm, I want to get going again, but I feel like I'm having a hard time starting. I've, or I'm not even having a hard time starting. I've been hesitant. I've been, I've been afraid to start. I've been afraid to do more, which is weird. I've been afraid to contact people. I haven't really. So I'm just kind of putting it out there and I don't know. I'm going to do stuff while I'm getting ready and maybe people will realize that I'm doing it again. Um, it's, it's also weird to go, okay, uh, season stopped for a while. And now, a couple months later, just start going, hey, I'm doing it again. It's, it just seems abrupt. So I'm, I'm going to work on my setup so that it's good. I can't take my recorder out and talk to people right now, which is how I used to do it. But that's a good thing, too, because now I can reach out to a lot of people that I've been wanting to reach out to that don't live in Madison. Uh, people on my email list have contacted me, and they're in different parts of the U.S. They're in Canada. And I've wanted to talk with them. And now with this setup, that's why I want to perfect this setup because I'd love to do more shows in a row rather than scheduling a time. Like I almost want to take a couple days a week on the Facebook page itself. I have one of those buttons that's at the top of the page by, by the header and it says book now. And I have sessions set up that are open. It's like booking an appointment and you can go in there. And if you want to talk with me for uh, like a 45 minute session, and be on the next season of the podcast, just seriously go there, hit the book now button, and I have the time set up. So I'm doing Tuesday, uh, one in the afternoon. This is all central time. So it's Tuesday, one in the afternoon to two, and then three in the afternoon to four. And then I'm also doing Thursdays, same time, one in the afternoon to two, three in the afternoon to four. And then uh, one more on the weekend for people that can't do weekdays, I'm doing Sundays, mainly because with the business that I'm running, most of my heavy shipping days are Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then Saturday is when we go out and source more goods and find more collectibles and stuff. So that's why those times work for me. Um, and you're able to go in and like book a time and, sit, and I'll just approve it. Just mainly if you're able to talk for like 45 minutes to me and you know, I have no problem asking questions. I, I, I want to know, I, I don't know you. So, or if I haven't talked to you yet, actually, if, uh, if there are people out there that I have talked to, I'm, I'd love to hear what you're up to now. And basically how you've adjusted since we've talked last or, you know, to what's happening in the world or, uh, just anything like, did you, do you still do it? Are you doing something else? Did you give up? Why'd you give up? Like, even if you're not doing art anymore, why aren't you? That's, that sort of stuff. So go to my uh, Facebook page, facebook.com slash Tom Ray's website is the new thing. That's that. Also, here's another thing I want to try. I want to see if I can share my screen. When I first started, there was a button that says share your screen. Yeah, there it is. And now it's grayed out. I'm sorry. So it is there in the setup. There's literally a share your screen, but it only lets you do it like after or before the fact. What good is that now? I want to show my screen now. I have a structured settlement and I need cash now. Um, and I, <laughs> yeah, there's a whole section here that says commenting and I'm there, but it doesn't show if anybody else is. So, and I have no idea if people can hear me. That's why this would have been helpful. I can see it after the fact, like when I stop doing this, it'll be fine. Um, I'm going to write Tom says hi in the comments. And there we go. Okay, so I've seen me there. Oh, I can pin it. Commented on by Tom Ray. Wait, I commented on my own comment? That's fun. I wish I could show you guys what's happening here. All right, so, because <laughs> I'm getting a response from it. Anyway, so, so that's me testing this out. And I want to do interviews this way, but the problem is, oh, yeah, that's the other problem, too. Only if I do them on. Oh, my mom says hi. There she is. Okay, good. Great. It's always fun when the family shows up. Hi, mom. 
<laughs> At least that means I know now that the comments work. Um, but now I'm realizing, as I was saying before, I can add people to the call when you're on the mobile version, but you can't add people to the call on this. So I'm still going to have to figure out a way. I'm going to have to do an external way to talk with people that I don't like. I was really hoping I could just turn this thing on and go because I want the better microphone because I want to use it for audio later. So this is the whole thing. I'm testing things out. Um, one of the things I've also been working on too is, uh, my website, I'm trying to restructure it because the whole thing is, is since I started back in 2017, I have changed a lot. Uh, and what I do changed a lot, I've gone into business for myself, which was kind of the whole reason that I started the website. I just kind of wanted to, I wanted to meet more people, experience things and find out how to do what I enjoy and maybe make money or make a living off of it, or just find a way to, I don't know, just continue doing what I do. Like when I started out, I was already making music and I wanted to make comics. I wanted to do another podcast. It had been a little while since I had done one and I wanted to meet people in my community in the art community around here. And I had, and during that time, I got to meet and talk to a lot of people. I learned a lot of things from them uh, by asking questions. And it all started out by just building a website. I, I build a website for, like whenever I get an idea, uh, I do one of two things. I either build a Facebook page for it and I build a website for it. And I mean, I just build it. I don't think about what it's gonna be. I just know what I'm gonna do with it. And so for all that, I do the whole thing using uh, Google. I, I set up all the ideas that I have using Google. I don't think twice about it because I can do a free website in two ways. There's blogger. Like if I'm going to be continuing to post, like if I want it to be articles that I'm going to keep putting out or things I'm interested in, I'll go to blogger and do it because it lets you create like a feed of stuff. And also it creates an RSS feed and you can do a podcast from it, things like that. And uh, the other way to do it, like if it's just going to be a landing page or it's just like an idea I'm testing out and I want to send traffic there and see if people are interested in it. Um, Google has, if you go to sites.google.com, uh, built directly into Google Drive is a function called sites. And you can literally create a drag and drop website, kind of like Squarespace, like the, the most bare bones version of Squarespace that's out there for free in your Google Drive. Uh, on using Google sites and you can create pages and it connects with like the pictures in your, uh, in your Google photos, which I use for all my comics that hosts it all like that's that hosts it. So I don't have to pay for anything. And I do all kinds of stuff like that just through Google. Plus you can set up if uh, you can use Gmail, of course. And the entire thing is set up through Gmail. You can create a new Gmail account for like, if you want to create it separate, like any email that I want to do. And I've done that. It gets confusing. So I just keep it at the same uh, email that I use. So here's the thing I do. I create a website for everything, every idea that I have. Like I have websites, I have like maybe 40 websites that I've built and they don't cost me anything. And my main reason for building them is, is I go, I got this idea. And instead of sitting around going, Ooh, this would be a great idea. And thinking about it, I test it. I make the website for it, barely think about the design, start posting things to it about the ideas that I have just to see if I keep my interest. And I'll try posting things. And if it starts becoming something where it's like, uh, I, I had like two good ideas and then I ran out of ideas. Now what do I do with it? Great. I built this website. And no one knows. Like you don't know what it is. I've, I've, like I said, I've got 30 websites out there and it's at first it's like, Oh, you know, I, 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 I used to feel like, Oh, people are going to see it and it's going to be embarrassing. No, if, if people saw it right away, just by me putting up a few posts, I should be very rich because that means I know how to make people like show up to websites like instantly. So that's, I had to get in that mindset. I had to realize like, no, I just make it and then see if I'm interested in it. Well, the one thing I started was this website. I was doing the daily web comic. I didn't have the podcast at all. I had no idea that's what it was going to be. So when I first started it and it was about my day and I was putting it out every day and I had it on a blogger site because I was going to continue to post. And then I was trying to expand other things. And that's when I was like, what if I did a podcast and I talked to people? And I was like, maybe it'll help me draw more. And I've been doing the comic every day. And now it's kind of branched into videos. And I've kind of 
uh, switch to uh, the other thing. Actually, this was one of the other websites that I had. It was about pop culture stuff. And I was doing, I was just searching, because I will go down a rabbit hole of YouTube videos or Wikipedia pages about stuff that I just think of like when I'm walking around. Like, what was it the other day that I was thinking of where I was like, what is that? And, it, and I looked it up, I, like muscle men. Oh, wait, I actually got some here, hold on. So these things, uh, they're little men that were based on a manga cartoon. And they're like wrestlers and stuff and anyway this isn't about that but it was i i would look that type of stuff up and i created a website where i was just like i'm gonna write about the stuff that interests me because i used to collect things like that and i had a website for it and i did list to it but then i was putting stuff more to this i was actually creating a business out of this to help support my podcast so i decided to kind of integrate it in and then I was making videos about that. But now that I do that, it's like, well, it's confusing. Are you a web comic? Are you a pop culture site? Are you, are you? yeah, are you making videos? Are you doing that sort of stuff? And I realized that like the main site is about like what I do. So I'm trying to decide like, how do I say like, yes, I'm interested in all these things. It's just really what I, I mean, it's what I do every day. It's not a, here's an interest. I'm gonna try it, build a website sort of thing. So I'm trying to find a way to wrangle my website and I stuck on blogger and the way I started out was when I did it on blogger for free, I could just build the idea, check it out. And then buy the domain. When I finally have something I want to keep, I buy the domain. It costs $12 And this business. When I first started it doing the podcast and everything, it only cost me $12 a year. Like I literally paid nothing. None of the other stuff cost me anything. I ran my entire setup until I started expanding into like uh, needing to buy a shopping cart, which, their Facebook marketplace right now. Like I kind of wish I didn't buy a shopping cart because Facebook marketplace has been doing really well for me and I can sell my artwork on Facebook marketplace. I can sell, uh, the used goods that I have on Facebook marketplace and all kinds of stuff like that. So it's, that's been, you know, now it's like the only thing that I pay for is I use uh, eBay, but that was a good one that I bought into as well because it's where people actually go search for things. So I'm not building a cart and going, okay, how do I get people to my site? Like people go to eBay and they're searching for my stuff. So it was just kind of a, it, it, was, a, it was a smart move on my part, but it cost money to do it, which was annoying. And then Facebook Marketplace got better and now I realize I could have put my time and effort into that. Anyway, that's the whole thing. I'm trying to wrangle on my blogger site what it is, how I want to arrange it. Cause now it's like you go to it and I just feel like you look at it and you're like, okay, it's a podcast, but then you go to the site and it's like, wait, there are all these comics on it. And how do I explain the comic is like my blog. How do I explain the videos where I show the pop culture things? It's like, this is what I'm interested in. And also my business. Those are the thoughts that are in my head. I just realized I ran, I was wondering if I was even going to be able to talk about anything. And I just rambled for like 20 minutes, huh? Like I said, I started my site on Blogger and uh, Google Drive has a thing called Google Sites. You can create a website there. I did it. I've got tons of them. Uh, I just wanted to mention it because it's really easy to do. And it's and that's why I wanted to do it there. Huh. I'm going to stop this and listen back and see if I even, first of all, if I even made any sense. I'm not entirely sure what I just said this entire time. So I'll find out. That's the beauty of editing afterwards. I can make myself sound smarter. All right, thanks.